Hello Leo, welcome to your Valentine's special. This reading may resonate with you if you have Leo placement in Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. My darling Leo, let's get right into it. We have no time to waste. And that's what I'm hearing, that you have no time to waste. Let me bring this down a little bit. There we go. How about that? How does that feel like? Fantastic. Okay, so... I have quite a few oracle and tarot decks to go through and let's find out. This is about the person on your mind, whoever this person is. Clearly, this is a Valentine's special reading. So I would assume that you're thinking about a special person, a romantic liaison. Let's find out where the connection is at. So these are the first few cards where I'm trying to figure out if A, this is your reading at all, and if it is, then where where is this connection at, Spirit, for my beloved Leo? If this is your first time, make sure to subscribe, Leo, and if you're returning, then you know I do appreciate your support and your love. Your first card is out. Girl talk, wow. Time with friends, moving on, happy and single. Okay, you could be coming out of a connection, Leo. You could be coming out of a connection or maybe you're taking a break and you're hanging out with your friends, which is fantastic. I personally believe that when it comes to romantic relationships, I'm not saying break up, but we should take breaks and we should prioritize other relationships in our lives, not just be with one person and, and sort of, you know, drive them to insanity and drive ourselves to insanity. Heartbroken is the next card. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. So I know I kind of talked about heartbreak. Are you going through a heartbreak, Leo? Which then drove you to your friend circle. Hmm, where is this connection at? Girl talk and heartbreak. Your next card is the sword and the rose. Clarity, truth, solidarity, force, hammer, protection, and power. These are the key words. Not every keyword applies. Sword and truth. Perhaps you found out something about this connection that you're heartbroken over. Now, heart heartbreak doesn't necessarily mean that there is a literal breakup in the connection. It could be that you found out about something. Maybe you had a fight with your person and that left you heartbroken. I'm gonna bring this down a tad bit. Ooh, how about now? That's good. Okay, let's take two more cards from this deck. Wow. I got three, the Grim Ripper, the Dragonfly, and the, and the Day. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. Dragonfly is about be lighthearted, finding out things coming out to light. Adapt, change, and date is date. Okay, so dearest. Not to fret, not to be worried. It's okay. I kind of felt it. The cards are just confirming it. This is what I'm seeing. And this is a general, general reading. So please take what resonates. Not everything will apply to everybody. So if this is resonating so far, just based on the cards that came out, then this is your scenario, Leo. You're heartbroken over this connection, over this person. It could be something that you found out. It could be a lack of communication from their end. It could be a lack of commitment. It could be a myriad of things, but whatever it is, you're heartbroken because something about this connection, it's not gelling, it's not vibing with you. So you reached out to your girlfriends or your friend circle and you're like, listen, I need help, I need advice. And rightfully so. The Sword and the Truth card is essentially all about you taking the time to find clarity because... If this is an early stage of your connection, then everything is so rosy. Everything is so flowery, and as it should be, right? I honestly believe that the honeymoon stage of any relation should be exactly that. 
But within that honeymoon phase, there needs to be clarity. The person on your mind should provide you ample evidence for you to know that they care about you, they love you, they're committed to you, they're protective of you. If those clarities are not in place, if they are not providing the evidences to support their claims of they love you or whatever they're claiming at this point, then it is absolutely incumbent upon you to say, hang on a second, I need to step back and reevaluate this connection. See, what happens is most of the time, I'm not saying all the time, we have a template in our mind as it relates to relationships. And this template, again, nine out of 10 times, is given to us either by our parents, if you grew up in a normal parental upbringing sort of a way, or by our caregivers. So we really, what we do as, as grown ups, we try to mirror what we saw as a child. As a child, if we have seen imbalance or imbalances in a relationship, in an adult family unit relationship, then we tend to accept that as the norm. Meaning what? Let's say, and traditionally women are more disadvantaged in a relationship than men. So let's say you're the woman in this connection and your men or whoever that you're in connection with doesn't have to be a heterosexual relationship, but let's go with this. If you have growing up as a woman, as a girl, have if you have seen your mother making lion's share of sacrifices, including giving up her dream, her ability to work, her ability to derive pleasure and happiness from a life's purpose, then you might think that that is the norm, that is the expectation, and this is how you have to appear in a connection. Conversely, the person you're with, let's assume that's a man, and this person also grew up in a very typical environment, the environment I just explained where the male figure is the provider, is the person who has to go out and work, is the person who makes majority of the decision, is the person who demands certain things of their woman, then that person, your person would show up in the connection exactly that way, right? There's no such thing as right or wrong. There's no such thing as, as you know, the victim or the villain. I'm not vilifying men. I'm not portraying women as, as victims. What I'm saying is, in your current connection, you have to decide, first and foremost, whether the template that you grew up with is the template that you want to carry on, whether that template makes you happy, whether that template is even pragmatic in the 21st century, in your current lifestyle, whether that, prag whether that template is the template that you want to adopt when you become a parent. That's where the Grim Reaper card comes out. It's not necessarily that your relationship has ended. What the Spirit is saying to me, because this wouldn't be a tarot reading if I'm just giving you a literal explanation of, of the cards that are coming out. So the esoteric meaning of all of this is take a moment to understand that the conventional relationship style template that you're used to, is that even pragmatic or practical? or even achievable in today's world, right? And be lighthearted about this. Don't make it such a big deal. This is, we're talking about one person, albeit one of the most important per people in your life, but we are talking about whatever that you're going through right now, that it's making you sad. This is just one person. This is just one relationship. You're surrounded by other people. And that is why it is so important not to lose yourself in a connection, Leo. And you know this. Now, I am seeing that you will have options, Leo. Even if you're married. This is what I'm seeing. I'm supposed to tell you what the cards tell me. I am seeing whether you date other people or not. Clearly, if you're still single and you're still 
you know, trying to understand your options out there. But even if you're married or in a committed relationship, I want you to know, because the cards are saying so, that there will be options. Other people are taking interest in you. Let's find out why they're taking interest in you. But they are. People are interested in you, Leo. That's what I'm seeing. That's where the connection is at. So to summarize, you're taking some time off or you will be taking some time off. Most likely around end of February, you will take some time off. And you need to reevaluate, which whether you listen to me or you do it on your own, own ability remains to be seen. Now, I also think as you are taking some time off, there will be other individuals interested in you. And without really, and that's where the lighthearted dragonfly card comes in, without really getting too much into your head. Yeah, if you, if you need to casually date to find some perspective around your current connection, by all means, do it. That's not cheating. That's not cheating at all, right? If your intention is to go out with someone and, and have a very lighthearted approach to it, okay? All right, so let's find out. This is the second Oracle deck. Let's find out what you can expect in this connection. So the connection is kind of, um, if I can say this directly, it's slightly on pause right now. I shouldn't say slightly. It is on pause or will be on pause for the right reason because the other person also needs to evaluate things. So now let's find out with this Oracle deck, what can you expect in the next couple of months around Valentine's Day, okay, Spirit? A couple of cards, no more than one or two cards, please. What can my Leo Collective? The first card is Courage. Wow, this Courage card came out pretty much for everybody, for all the readings that I've done so far. Let's take one more card. The Courage, Leo, you don't, you don't lack courage, right? And this also confirms that this reading is for you because if I have to define Leo in one word, I would say courage. So courage and reverence. Wow. Courage and reverence. So Leo, this is what you can expect in the next couple of months. Two things will happen. Either the person on your mind that you're watching this reading for will have the courage to step up to the plate and treat you like the divine feminine, the divine entity that you are. This is not gender specific. And show up in this connection with the level of reverence that you deserve. That's scenario one. And we are talking about a timeline of six to eight weeks. Or there will be a new person, Leo, which I honestly personally think for the majority of you, you will actually stumble upon a new person simply because this old person for whom you, you're you listening to this reading to did not show up to the connection with the level of reverence that I've already explained. Perhaps they are holding on to an old template. And this is the reverence that you de deserve. And I'm hearing this very succinctly to my from my spirit guides that this is the level of rever reverence will be the template. Courage and reverence will be the new template for you as it relates to relationship. Courage and reverence. So you will decide. And I know sometimes people are like, I love that person. Yes, you can love somebody and still not be with them. I've done it. You can love someone, wish them all the best and still not be with them. Because one of the things I care about personally in a connection, in a relationship is that the person who's going to show up for me has to have the courage not only to stand up for me, but to stand up to me. If the person is just you know, agreeing, is always agreeable, then what's the fun in that? So that's number one. The second thing is the person should have enough reverence and self-respect for themselves. And in return, they will have reverence and self-respect for myself. These are my two non-negotiable words or non-negotiables in a connection and that's the template and that also means that sometimes you probably have to stay single for a while sometimes you just will be casually dating and it's all it's okay leo it's okay to be discerning it's okay to prioritize yourself in a way 
that people will only show up with those two words, with those two requirements. That's the template. All right, now let's find out. Let me bring this like so. Let's find out. This person, whether the, it's a current uh, connection or a future connection, because I do see a future person coming in. A future person, this person is very, very the future person. They know their game. Because one of the things I did not show you, which I am thinking of showing you, the bottom of the deck of this deck, the card was game changer and said, don't be so effing nice. This new person will come into your life and they will show you what real relationship looks like. This is a game changer. They're very, very determined. And they have a vision. They're bold. Oh, and they will treat you like a goddess. Now, let's take some messages, right? So, or your current person will finally have the epiphany and the realization to be that person for you. All right, so let's find out. These are messages from your person, from the depth of their subconscious. It could be the new person or the old person, doesn't matter. Apply this as you see it fit. For, for me, this is probably mostly the new person. All right, so you have the Prince of Wand. Sorry, you can't even see it. The Prince of Wand. Ooh, this Prince of Wand is in a meditation mode. They're doing some yoga. They're balancing. I love it. Which is the Knight of Wands. And then you have the Two of Swords. Fantastic. So whether this is an old person or a new person, could be a fire sign or an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this new person, if this is an old person, this, this is the person already in a connection with you, they're going through some life-changing decisions here. Two of Swords is all about decision. And this person is blindfolded. They are learning about self-respect, self-worth, and faith. They're learning about balance and courage, right? You can't. This person is standing on this on this one piece of bamboo or log or whatever this is. And there's fire around them and they're balancing. And that re requires what? Focus. So your current person is learning focus and also learning reverence. You can't have faith and focus unless you revere your own divinity. So your person is going through some major transformation and major shift. Now, if this is not the current person, this future person, subconsciously they know because our subconscious is a massive antenna. That's where the intuition lies. That's how I do the readings for you, right? So your new person, whether they have met you or not, they subconsciously know that you are their person. So they're preparing themselves for you, okay? Let's take two more cards, two or three. Let's see what else is, what else? Oh, wow, okay. This is fantastic. So you have the... Four of Pentacles, hmm. you have the Six of Wands, and you have the Priestess. Remember when I said subconscious and intuition, this is a Pisces card. Your person, the current person, would like to hold on to this connection, and they want to be successful. They want to show up like this victoriously, right? Uh some of them have this idea of you being their trophy. But subconsciously, your current person also knows that for, for them to be in your life, they have to show up with a level of reverence towards you. If this is about your new person, I already said this, this your new person knows that you exist, whether they have met you or not. And they're reflecting. High Priestess is half, not half, but somewhat submerged underwater. They're reflecting. Your person, new or old, is reflecting on their life choices and they're making some revisions. They know with the Four of Pentacles, they, know, they can no longer, because Four of Pentacles is holding on. Look how tight my fists are. 
Four of Pentacles is all about holding on to things that people feel comfortable in. They know for them to come into your life as victoriously as they would like to, they cannot just hold on to old templates. So they're reflecting. And this is really what they would like to say to you. This is what they would like to say to you. All right. So now let's take a look at, let's take a look at what you can expect. So far, we learned where the connection is at, right? We learned what your person feels right now, where they're at. We also learned what can be expected in the next six to eight weeks. Even though this is a Valentine's special, you can stumble upon this reading at any given point in time. And this reading will apply. Now let's learn with this tarot deck what specific action your person could take. Now some of these actions may not be, how should I put this? Your person may not be aware that they will be taking these actions and that's why it's a tarot reading, right? There's a, an element of surprise, there's an element of prediction. Okay, all right, so what potential action would your person take? Old or new, current or future, doesn't matter. Okay. Spirit, give me a few cards. And also, this is an opportunity for me to clarify some of the messages that already came through, Leo. All right. So let's find out. Wow. Quite a few cards. So you have the Four of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Nine of Swords. Okay. So your person is done overthinking. If this is a current connection, your person is done overthinking with the Four of Cups and the Nine of Swords. They are also done going back and forth, non-committal, because that's one of the things I channeled. And that's why maybe you are heartbroken. Whatever broke your heart in this connection, your person is done hurting you, is done hurting themselves, which is Nine of Swords. It's done feeling like non-committed and all that. So they are ready for commitment. If this is a new person, they're also wrapping up things in their life. Remember, that's what the decision is. So this, this confirms the two of swords. They know they cannot go through this old paradigm, this old template of relationship anymore. They have to balance their inner thoughts, their feelings, so that they can show up victoriously towards you with the courage in their heart and the reverence towards them and to you. They're done. They're done with that decision point or they will be. That's their action. And what they would want is commitment. If this is not a current connection, then that's what the future person, because they have learned their lessons through other connections. And when, when they show up for you, they want to make sure that they are not repeating the same mistakes. Right? What else? So this is beautifully being, being verified and clarified for me. I hope you're following the storyline so far. If you are, leave me a message. Let me know. You also have the four of ones. This is fantastic. This, you have one, two, three, fours here. Four, four, four could be significant. April could be significant. Fourth of the month could be significant. I have Pisces on the board with, with the high priestess. That Pisces could be the, you know, sign of your person. Doesn't have to be. I'm also seeing February, February 24th or February 26th could be significant for you. Okay. May 9th or May 4th could also be significant. Please save this reading, right? So that you can come back and verify the dates. So four of wands. Four of wands is a happy home foundation, finally building a home together, a life together. You have the Hierophant, which is the marriage card. You have the four of wands, which is the halfway to marriage card. These two cards showed up on the same reading from the same deck. That is significant. April... 5th or May 4th, significant dates. I know April 5th is a significant date for myself. I'm not going to get into why, but it, it is a significant date. All right. So what I would like to do, so the action is, 
Your person is looking for commitment. That would be the action. What I would suggest to you, and let's see if, if Spirit gives you the same advice, is to take your time and make sure these two things, the reverence and the courage part, is non-negotiable in this connection. Whoever is the person with you right now. All right. This is my last deck, and I am taking one advice or one message for you directly from Spirit. This could be an advice. This could be just a message. This could be a warning, a premonition. I don't know. Let's find out. But this is something you really need to listen to. All right. Spirit, let's end this reading. Wow. I couldn't even finish my sentence. You have strength, which is your card, Leo. We are not messing around. On this channel, we don't mess around. We get right to the point. And that is why it is absolutely crucial that we keep this channel alive. So support, support, like, share, save. Okay, you have the strength card, you have the king of cups, and you have the eight of cups. So listen. This is what spirit is saying. And I knew, I knew this message would come out because that's how clear your readings are. Spirit is saying, if these two things don't show up, if your person is not treating you with respect, love and reverence, more reverence than love, then doesn't matter, Leo. You should have the strength to walk away from this king of cups. A king of cups, and look, bottom of the deck is world, four of wands again, the fool, the two of wands, eight of pentacles, what spirit is basically saying, and let me wrap this up. And I think I've said this quite a few times. The strength and courage that it requires to love someone should come from a level of reverence that one holds for themselves as well as for the other person. Without that, a, a cup of love is nothing. It's an empty cup. You should have the strength to walk away from a connection where you're not treated well. And you should let that connection come to an end, right? Even if it shakes your stability, even if it's a stable home, even if it's a committed relationship, never be afraid to walk away from a person or a connection where your self-worth and your self, your, your requirements are not fulfilled. And always look towards the new beginning. Even if it makes you slightly afraid and uncomfortable, you should always prioritize your own self over anyone else is the message. We have your energy, Pisces energy, full is Aries, Gemini. The world card is Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio. This, these signs could be significant to you for you. All right, Leo, that's your reading. As always, my darling, I am absolutely in love with your energy. You're the leader. You're my leader. You're the leader of the Zodiac. Happy Valentine's Day. And until we see each other, take very good care of yourself. Bye now.